what I am uh, I was telling you that MRCPC is a very prestigious degree all over the world uh, but the pathway is uh, some kind of different in UK as well as in overseas in UK after passing MRCPCH, you will be eligible to enter into ST4, that is specialist training uh, level 4. So to be a consultant in UK, you have to complete 5 to 6 years of training, that is up to ST8 in uh, uh, UK. But in case of overseas like Bangladesh, India, uh, somewhere MRCPCH is recognized as a postgraduate degree and you become a uh, consultant after uh, completing a certain times of uh, training actually. I am not sure about India but in Bangladesh after MRCPC if uh, you complete uh, training five to six years you can uh, be a consultant but the training must be in UK not in Bangladesh. <coughs> so um, I am uh, telling this at first because uh, every time I was faced this question that uh, uh, can I be a consultant after passing MRCPCH? So this is the answer. After passing examination, you have to complete a certain period of training to become a consultant. Then uh, about uh, preparation, yes, this is very standard time is six months. Although uh, there is variation, if you are already uh, have a postgraduate degree in pediatrics or you have uh, completed certain period of training in pediatrics, it, uh, it, it may be helpful in uh, preparation. You can uh, complete the preparation in less than six months and can appear at exam. <coughs> but almost six months is a very good time for preparation. You uh, just study regularly six months and and uh, ac according to our course and it's very important to revise the all information so it's my personal advice that you uh, pick the time of exam when you are intending to go for the exam just keep one to two months before exam that for revising all the study materials you all uh, go through the during the course <clears throat> that means if like uh, this is the April so May June July August September October <clears throat> so your course will be completed at October so you know already the form and tax exam will be held in three times in a year that is February June October so if uh, I already mentioned that if you are already competent in pediatrics, then you can uh, plan in October. But if you are thinking, no, I want to complete uh, the study in a very good way and I want to be confident, then it will be better to uh, plan for February. <coughs> so that after completing the course in October, you uh, have time at two months uh, in your hand to revise the uh, all studies. Usually I prefer essential revision notes and uh, science of pediatrics and there are other things like uh, there are two question books recommended by uh, Royal College. One is uh, clinical cases for FOP, clinical cases for tests. These uh, two books are very very important for exam. They will um, show you you that uh, wh how you have to approach to a question okay how will you um, interpret a question during exam because uh, these books comprises 50 question in each book and uh, real in real exam all the questions are same almost same type of question usually come in exam so if you uh, analyze these 50 questions 50 plus 50 50 for FOP, 50 for TAS, so 100 question. If you analyze and go through these questions very meticulously, then of course you will get a good learning about the uh, analysis of question in real exam. <coughs> so textbook, question book, and question bank obviously. Uh, there are a number of question banks, past test, stone exam, past pediatrics, different uh, question banks are available and uh, two question banks will be provided by academy, I think so. So uh, 
it's very difficult to study two question bank so if anyone can go through very good but uh, if uh, it's difficult for you so then you must stick to one question bank okay it's very important to push, uh, solve all questions in a single question bank uh, because when you learn so many topics in textbook you will gain knowledge definitely but when you uh, face a question that is different thing so how will you apply your knowledge in solving the question that this learning you will uh, get from solving the questions so it's very important uh, to study the textbook as well as solve the questions in question bank hmm. they both are similarly important <clears throat> so learn study all questions from a, a question bank as well as revise them i will uh, tell all of my students that uh, at least revise the question two times from your question bank before exam actually otherwise you can't memorize the answers <clears throat> uh, when you appear in exam you find that oh yes i i read that question but you forget the answer okay so it's not uh, enough to uh, study one only one time in question bank it must uh, revise at least two times okay so in that case you will be confident enough and i must hear that you will pass the exam <clears throat> And another things, textbook, question bank, and guidelines, obviously. Yes, uh, as we are, uh, we are from different countries, and we have um, national guidelines from uh, our country on different uh, disease. Uh, I know, but as we are, all of us are uh, UK candidate, UK exam candidate. So now you have to um, think yourself as a UK candidate. So you have to read UK guidelines on different topics. In that case, I will have to read uh, your pediatric guidelines from NHS, that is Green Book. Okay, every uh, every two two to three years it usually change, updated actually. Uh, so now uh, current guideline is. Uh, green book and one new natal guideline that is red book <coughs> all the soft copy will be provided by academy okay <coughs> and uh, that's all so textbook question book guidelines and question bank and the uh, lecture material which uh, is uh, given by academy all of all uh, uh, the lecture material are prepared from your textbook and and uh, during class we the mentors will mention then uh, what topics you have to read from the guidelines okay so almost this is about the study preparation and one last thing that is please and please study regularly okay each topic uh, will be uh, lectured in once in a week some topics are uh, have two classes that means two weeks you will get two weeks for preparation some topic so please study regularly whatever the time 30 minute one hour two hour three hour whatever you get time please study regularly otherwise it will be difficult for you to memorize the all of the things i know you are very busy for family jobs and and so 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 but we have to study regularly and appear at the class test regularly academy will uh, provide you uh, the learning materials in very flexible way that is live class uh, recorded class learning platform there are different uh, ways to uh, for study that uh, just grab the opportunity and crack the exam any question dear participants regarding exam preparation and study materials if you have no question then i will go for today's lecture okay okay 
Actually, your lecture uh, books are prepared from essential revision nurse and science of pediatrics as well. But you know, it's very difficult to put all materials from book to lecture note. So, of course, it, you will first go through lecture note. If you find that uh, something is um, incomplete or you need to study more, then you go for books. Especially science of pediatrics, that book. Uh, because uh, that book has uh, multiple question and explanation. So uh, I will advise that after reading the lecture material, you go through the science of pediatrics at least one time to read those questions. Thank you.